What we're going to do now is make an elbow 90 degrees. It's going to have fiberglass turning vanes inside of it. It's going to look like this piece here, and you look inside now, you can see, but when I remove this piece, you can see the turning vanes inside of it. So that's what we're going to be making. Whenever you working with modular duct construction, which is what this is, we're going to make a fitting inside of a piece of duct. We got to take, we always put it on the table with the female edge towards you and roll it up and you have to break it over like this. Because once we put the turning vanes inside of it, we're not going to be able to turn the duct down. All right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to roll this duck up, and what, what I'm going to do now is mark it so these are just guidelines to go by. The ear is going to come down this trunk line and turn out this side. So I'm going to put an X on this side to make sure I know that's the side I'm going out of. And I'm just going to put two other lines, and I'll show you when I open it up. That shows me which way my turning vanes go. That keeps you from putting them in backwards. All right, I'm gonna cut this piece out just like we done when we make an elbow. You go to the inside dimension of the duct, which is 12 inches, and you go one and a half times the dimension uh, of the thickness of the glass in. So in other words, I go 14 and a quarter, 12 inches plus an inch and a half plus three quarter. And I draw that line across. And I mark it on these other two sides too. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and cut this panel out. We're just gonna set this aside until we get done. We're gonna need that. That's gonna be the heel of our elbow. When this duct comes into this piece, it's going to close up three quarters of an inch of this opening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here three quarters of an inch and close it up right now. And that's where my lines are going to be drawn from. Right here to the corner of this duct. Now I'm going to come back five inches to put the first turning vane in. And I'm going to go three inches each time after that. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. You see where I'm starting from, this point here, not way up there. Draw the line down. I come back five inches. Eight. Eleven. Fourteen. I've got, I've got my turning vanes laid out. What I'm going to do now, Amcraft makes this vein cutter. It's like a cookie cutter and it cuts the same arc as, as these veins here. All right, now when I, when I start cutting these veins, I'm using these screws right here for a center line on this tool. And I'm setting it down on top of this line here that I've made for that throat. And I, I catch this mark here right behind it. And just push it in. And that makes a, a crescent cut. And I do the same here. And they all got to be the same. Because I can, I can see this mark if it's at the back of the tool all the way out. If it was 36 inches, I wouldn't be able to look over the front and see it there. So that's why I always pick it up right there at the back of the blade. Do the same thing here.
That leaves a little bit of glass down the bottom of these, but whenever you put your turning vanes in, you cut them an inch and a half longer than the inside dimension of the duct. So this is eight inch duct, we've cut these nine and a half. And we set these turning vanes right down in place. Now if you notice, I put them in this side here. There's a reason for that. Because when I roll this thing up and look turn down, I can look right down here and see these turning vanes and, the, and the, the cuts where they go. Then when I staple it together, These st staples are shot about every two inches apart. And you remember when we started this fitting, I broke the duck over and so when I went to staple it together, I could get it stapled together. Because right now, if I hadn't have done that, it would have broke these turning vanes up. That's why I have to break the fitting over first. Then this piece here we cut out first. Goes right in place, it sits right in there. Okay, now when I uh, tape this in, I always put this piece on here first, and that keeps it from sliding out or whatever. So I put the tape out on it and pull it back. Now I know that the board's all the way back against it. I put another tape tab across this way. And then I put one around it this way. About halfway down goes each way. Okay, so that gives us a uh, an elbow with turning vanes because whenever you make a, an elbow like this you always need turning vanes in it you shouldn't be able, you can't use one if it doesn't have the turning vanes in it and that's it